so now I have uh, uh, downloaded the rapid minor uh, 9.8 version version now I'm going to install it so I'm just double clicking on it and uh, moving over to the giving the permission as administrator and welcome to the rapid minor studio so next so rapid minor studio I'm just because I do have one more so I'm just giving rapid minor 9.8 version install I'm just installing that so it's a very simple process of installation it will not take much time and uh, it basically does very faster so probably once you download the uh, installation file and keep it then it is easier for you to uh, install the um, rapid minor tool Yeah, so that's it. It is done. So finish. So this is the Rabbit Miner 9.8 Studio. So it is just loading and initializing. Initializing the operators. So it might take a while but just wait till the complete process is done so that's all so this is the license agreement so you can just go through it read it and if you like it so I'm just going to accept that I accept so it's just loading the GUI the user interface plugins so that's all it is so you can either log in now or you can do it uh, later so I'm just closing it for the time being so I'm just showing so this is the this is the initial window I have to log in basically so this is the initial look and feel of uh, a rapid minor 9.8 so once you log in basically you'll be able to see this uh, particular window so finish your account creation so an activation link is basically sent to my email so once I uh, get the email uh, then I will be able to you know use the rapid minor 9.8 so this is what it is so it is as simple as that I have not got I received a mail so I'm just waiting for that email so once you received a verification email you have to just click over to it so it will take you to the activation that's the activation link basically for the using this particular software so once you click onto it then you're ready to use the system so your account is successfully created and you'll be able to use the software for further use so now when we go back to this so you are ready so it is automatically shown so now it is ready for you you can just start using it so that's all is the introductory part for uh, rapid miner thank you so once we log in this is the initial look of uh, rapid miner so there is a, a design view here so there are various perspectives in it so design view here and this is the results overview so this is where we are going to see the results and there is a turbo preparation as of now we don't require it so if you want to load any data or anything you can use this uh, uh, turbo mode and you have an auto model where you could uh, use the inbuilt models and everything and you could see how the model works and everything so this shows you the complete uh, uh, you know uh, the steps which are included in the uh, data mining and this is the deployment so we will be able to deploy the model in a particular whatever we want to use we can use that so uh, uh, these are the different steps which you could see and this is the initial mode and this is the start button and uh, this is the parameter window say if you are using any specific uh, models or uh, anything so if you want to give the uh, parameters specifically from the user part you could give here and this is the import data part so you have training resources here so these are the training resources which you could use to learn you know how everything is everything works and uh, these are the samples so there are some inbuilt data which is already there in the model and uh, there are some processes which you could learn by, try, by trying by yourself there are some particular templates which are already there 
and the time series data separately and its corresponding and there are some basic tutorials also to help you know and how each and everything works so this tutorials basically help you to understand uh, how each and everything works so this is the tutorial if you simply click on to it um, yeah I'll show you that in the next class so uh, if you, you you can use that you know it is basically now it is uh, locked so it is not accessible now so once you register and if you are a premier customer you will be able to use that otherwise you could learn by yourself so uh, that's all it is and then there is a operator part where uh, you can have all the data access operators blending operators the model operators which we use uh, so all those operators and uh, then there is a validation operator so cross validation split validation so so many different uh, uh, operators are available so these are the tools which we will use for uh, building the data mining applications so all these things are basically available here so this nine point is really pretty good and there is a initial tutorial which is given to you you can view all the tutorials which you could view by yourself and others you will not be able to view so here uh, once you start you could see they are asking to find the repository panel so this is the repository panel there's a local repository panel and in that you have got uh, the samples and from the samples they are asking you to go to data and in the data they are basically asking you to go to titanic data set okay so titanic training basically so we are just dragging and dropping it here the titanic data set and drop it in the process panel this is the process panel so we are actually putting it here okay so say we are putting it here now uh, what is the next step so you can go to the next one so connect the output that is the out this is output port of the titanic data set so and that has to be connected to the rest rest is nothing but the result port this is the result port and make the connection either by dragging the line between the ports or first clicking on it so i'm just going to drag the line and i'm going to connect it so this is what they are asking us to do so a very beautiful tutorial is also there and now what you have to do you have to click on the run button which is on the top left corner so everything is clearly given so you have to simply run it so you could see all the data here so the complete data of the titanic training data set is basically displayed here so it is very easy and simple and if you want to see the statistics of how many survived okay uh, how many what is the age age statistics the passenger class statistics everything could be even seen individually in this particular and the visualizations are also possible here and the annotations can also be seen so this is the basically the data and this is the labels which you could see here so this is all about the initial statistics about uh, how it is so if you want to go back to where you have started you can click on the design mode so that you could see it so in this i'm going to show you how to save this particular process so this process is already there so we, this is the one which we have created last so i'm going to save this process and in the local repository and say if i need a particular folder uh, for myself for all my programs what i could do is i could just create a subfolder here so say i'm my rapid trials so this is the folder which i'm creating so i want to store the initial program which is just reading the data data in this particular folder so that is saved for future references so this is the first one which we have done say if you want to go through uh, rest of the tutorials you could just go to this view all so when you go to this view all you are already here okay so you have just completed uh, operators and processes okay so uh, this is what you have just seen now okay now you can go to the second one in getting started itself you have eight different uh, sections here so this will give you a complete then prepare data so eight uh, six examples are there build a, build a model you have five different examples then collaborate you have if you want to collaborate your programs with artificial intelligence you have something called ai hub, hub. and if you're working on the big data you have something called red Hoop. Uh, so for uh, big data I hope you all know that you know there is something called Hadoop and Mahout you know which will help you your processing faster right so there is something which is integrated with uh, rapid miner for big data analytics so that is Hadoop so in getting started I will just try to take this second one that is modeling okay so it is very uh, interesting right so this is the second tutorial so let's do the some this is basically of uh, data science so 
uh, it also comes in our data mining techniques. It's the decision tree how to use it. So um, what you could do is go to the next. So again, they are asking us to take from the samples. Okay, from the samples, we have to take the data Titanic training and you have to put it here. So this will just give you an exact idea of how it has to be done. So I, I prefer everyone to just go and do this and build a decision tree. So where can you? So here, the only thing which you have to understand is that from where you need to put, pick this, um, uh, you know, this uh, um, the decision tree. So what you have to understand is that if that is an operator that is considered as an operator and that is an operator in modeling. Okay, these are the operators. So in modeling, in modeling, this is basically used for predictive. So in prediction, you have something called trees and in the trees, you have something called decision tree. So this is the knowledge which you really should have where to search and where it is. So that's why data mining basically helps and makes everything simple. So uh, this is what it is. And now you have dragged and dropped this decision tree. So once you have done that, you have to connect. So everything is very clearly given here. You have to connect this out. Okay. You have to connect this out to with the input. Input is nothing but the TRA. TRA is nothing but the training port. Training port of the decision tree. Okay. And now what you have to do, you have to first connect the output. Okay. So you have to connect the output. So output is nothing but MOD. MOD is nothing but the modeling. So after the modeling, what will happen? So this MOD to the uh, results, okay, to the right side, that is nothing but the result, okay. So that's all it is. So you have actually taken some particular data and you have applied the decision tree model upon to it and you have uh, given the output. It's as simple as that. Now you have to run it. So that is what they are telling. So you have to run it. So once you run it, you could see uh, the complete structure of the decision tree here, okay. So once you drag and drop here, you could see, you would be able to see the complete structure of the decision tree. Okay. So if you want to zoom, you could use this. If you want to zoom down and see how your tree basically looks like. So it is a big tree which you have actually formed. So this is a pretty big tree, okay, which we have formed for the titanic labels. Okay. If you want to see the description, you could see the description of the whole data. So how many males are there? How many female there? So all those details. So the parents, the complete details about the persons who have traveled in the Titanic has been given to you. So uh, this is how you could uh, say if you want a radial view, okay, so you could use that and if you want a balloon view, you could use that. So you could even uh, take each and everything. So I'm just, you know, zooming a bit uh, further so you'll be able to understand it better. So you can just drag and drop so that, you know, it is like balloon. So you can change and sh sh uh, show people like you know what is what so it could be shown very clearly okay and uh, you have different um, you know uh, uh, possibilities available so all these things are not workable on this particular tree so that's why it is so tree so um, so this is what you could uh, see in this particular graph okay and uh, that's all it is so yes, uh, so that's how it is, uh, uh, you could see here. So your whole uh, data uh, about, you know, what is a sibling, who is a sibling, who is a travel. So the complete traveler details and its corresponding male and the female details could be seen here, right? So uh, that's all about, so this one, this one also you could save. So you could, if you want to save it as your own processes for looking over to it later, you can just go back to your rapid trials. So I'm just showing it as two decision tree trial okay so i'm just saving it as my own data so that's all it is the first one so in this we are going to actually see a very important uh, tutorial which is there in this because we'll be keep on doing this you know till we complete the, our whole thing because either we need to we always need to import our own data so it could be the excel or it could be either csv file comma separated files or it could be from a URL directly. So it could be from any any kind of, it could be any kind of data that could be uploaded. So, but uh, the thing is that you need to know that, you know, how to import the data. So that is why uh, this tutorial is really important. So uh, basically they are asking us to uh, download the file from this. When you click onto it, it goes to a link. And uh, uh, I have downloaded the data. This is the data which is downloaded. 
okay it is the titanic data so if you want to see the data uh, it just looks like the same data which we have seen till now <clears throat> so you have who all have survived so the passenger class the name the female so everything the age the ticket everything all those details are available there okay so that is how the data uh, looks like so this is just for you to know how the data look like and uh, so now what we have to so we have downloaded the data now we are going to import the data over to rapid miner so how will we do that so we are clicking on this uh, import okay so i'm going to take this from the system okay so basically i have sorry it is in the uh, data mining in the poly ppt i have just copied it here i'm just using the same data the same data only so i'm just completing so it is loading all the data okay so i want the data to be here okay and uh, i want the data to be here basically it is there so you have already done that so it is already there i'm just overwriting the data okay now uh, i'm going to the design view so in the design view what i'm basically going to do is that um, i'm going to the data in the data this titanic data is there i'm just taking it and putting it here okay so now um, um yeah so i'm just connecting that's all it is just like you know how you can just take it and connect it so now i have just connected it outside okay to the uh, uh, to the result okay and then i'm clicking the so the data is displayed so this data you have to understand that this data you have actually imported it from another location in the computer so that is what you have to understand in this particular video so you can import files like that from your system or from a url so all those things are basically possible here uh, by using this okay so that is one thing which you have to understand and uh, all right i uh, yeah uh, to the files so if you want to read here so you have got all these options here so this is exactly like the read file so if you read uh, you can read csv you can read excel you can read urls all these things are possible for you to you can even read the database so all these things are also possible to uh, use this this are also available as an operator which we will be seeing later but you should understand otherwise the easiest way say if you have the data in the file already in the system location where you know then you can just click on this import data option which is easily available readily available there and use it so that is one thing which you have to understand An example which is there in the tutorial filtering and sorting so two things we will learn from this so first we are going to import the data so for that uh, what they have uh, uh, sorry so what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, get the data here and we are going to take the titanic data here and we are dragging and dropping it here and then in the operators section you need to check for filters okay and in that there is something called filter examples so once you add something please make sure that you are giving it a connection and here when you click onto it you can add the filters so here uh, we are going to take just the female persons female so you can also select the magic wand this is called as a magic wand okay because sex means these are the only things which are available there and you are clicking ok and then you are going to sort okay and for the sort you are adding it so once you have added it you are connecting it and in the sort uh, you have to sort what okay you are going to sort the passenger fare in the decreasing order okay and also making sure that you are doing it only for um, ladies okay so that is what you are doing and you are connecting it to the output okay now we are going to run it so now you could see that it has selected only the female candidates it has selected only the female candidates and you could also see the passenger it has sorted the complete table according to the passenger uh, fare that is the first class third class second class so it has also uh, selected it accordingly it has sorted it accordingly so that is what you could see here in this particular data okay so and you can see the statistics here 
So this is all about the data again. So that is what you have to understand in this particular video.